have you downloaded a freebie font or purchased a new font recently and you really want to use it for your next Canva project? Or do you have a font file sitting on your computer that you want to use on Canva? Or maybe your very own brand font is not included in the font list of Canva. Worry no more because I am going to share with you today how to use your downloaded fonts free or purchased. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Katie and I am back with another video to help you with your Canva workflow and experience. Before we start, please know that the ability to upload fonts can be possible for Canva Pro users, Canva for Enterprise users, Canva for Education users, as well as Canva for Nonprofit users. If you are on a free account, however, Canva allows you to try Canva Pro up to 30 days. Click the link in the description below, which I'm going to share you so that you can take advantage of the 30 days free trial. Make sure that you sign up on your browser so that you will get the maximum number of days. If you sign up on your mobile phones or your tablets, you might be offered only 14 days of free trial. So please don't forget that. You can upload up to 100 fonts. Uploaded fonts will appear at the top of the list when adding to designs. So I'm going to show that to you later. But first, let's take note of this information. Every font, even a free font, comes with a license. So take note of that. Licensed fonts may work in some circumstances. However, Canva makes no guarantees because sometimes the fonts that we download actually don't pass the Canva validator. Yes, Canva has a validator when you try to upload your fonts on your computer. Canva validator may have detected that your font is not licensed for embedding. That's why sometimes if you are a Canva Pro user or any other types of users that can upload fonts and if you may have encountered some error message in the past, probably the font that you are trying to download did not pass the validator or the license does not allow for embedding. So if that happens to you, you can just go ahead and move on, try to upload a new font and then use that for your Canva account. Now the font files that are supported by Canva are .otf, .ttf, and .woff. So OTF stands for open type font, TTF stands for true type font, and WOFF stands for web open font format. So make sure that the fonts that you are trying to install are actually those font types. Make sure as well that you are uploading something that you have extracted already. So you are not allowed to upload a compressed file or a zip file directly to canva you will get an error message or most often than not it's going to be grayed out when you try to upload so in this tutorial it's not just all talk i'm going to be showing you how you can upload your fonts on canva so here what you are looking at on your screen right now is my brand kit so the brand kit feature is only available to those who are on canva pro canva for enterprise canva for education as well as canva for nonprofit. so if you are on a free account you'll only be able to see a few um color palette options right here there's only three but that's not our topic today so i'm gonna zone in to our fonts so here if you don't have a canva pro account you will not be able to change anything right here in the brand fonts and you cannot also upload fonts right from your files. So that's what we are going to do right now. Again, I'm logged in into my Canva Pro account. So here's how you're going to do it. If you have already uploaded some fonts, so you will see the names right here and you can actually delete some. Okay, so if say, for example, you have already reached the maximum number of fonts, then you can always delete um, the font or any of the font that you rarely use anymore. And then you can add the ones that you want to use on your future projects. All right, so what you need to do is to click on upload a font. 
So click that and then you go to your fonts. So here I have downloaded quite a few recently and then I want to use this on my Canva account. So I'm going to choose Hearty Morning OTF. So again, OTF, TTF, and WFF are the files that are allowed to be uploaded on Canva. So I'm going to click it and canva will do its magic and it will ask you please confirm the following by uploading my own custom font i acknowledge that i own hearty morning that otf or have the right to use it for my intended purposes so i have a commercial license for this font so i'm gonna click yes upload away and then there you go the process will be implemented and i'll just have to wait and if this file is a good file, then it's going to show up in my brand uploaded fonts. So there, we're just going to wait while it's doing its thing. Sometimes um, it depends on the internet connection as well. So how fast it can be stored on your account. So let's see where it is now. It's hearty mornings. Your fonts here are actually arranged alphabetically so that um, it's easier for you to find your fonts. So here's the font that we already uploaded. It's hearty morning. Now we can try another one. So I'm going to click another um, font again. So I will try um, bowhead.ttf. So I'm going to click that. And then again, the same thing that what we did earlier. Yes, upload away. And there you go. We'll just have to wait until it uploads. Oh, it's a bit faster this time than earlier. There you go. So we are going to wait here and go to the letter B area so we can see Bowhead once it's completely uploaded. All right, so Bowhead regular is already added here. So third's the charm. So let's go ahead and add a new one just so you can remember the process. So all you need to do is again, click upload font and then choose a font. This time I'm gonna choose birama.ttf. So click that and click yes, upload away. All right. There you go. We will wait for birama to show up in our uploaded fonts list. Okay, so let's go ahead and look for it. Birama, B-I-R, there you go, it's there already. So Birama regular is already added to my fonts list. Now you may be wondering, how do I install fonts on my computer? How do I download it or anything? I'm going to add some instructions in the description box down below so you can actually install fonts on your computer that you are not able to install on your Canva account. So of course, the fonts that you will download from the internet, you can also use that for your other word processing documents or word processing tools, that is, um, which includes Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or if you are a Mac user, you can actually install fonts in your computer and use those fonts when you access pages, numbers, or keynotes. So if you have other softwares in your computer that actually uses fonts, then you would be able to use those fonts installed on your computer. But here on Canva, um, you need to install them manually and include them in your uploaded font so that you can use them because Canva is an online tool. It won't actually immediately recognize the fonts that you install in your computer. So again, the process is that you download the fonts from your websites that you like downloading fonts from. So I'm going to leave some links in the description below as well of some of my sources. So you can just go ahead and click the links and download the fonts that you like and then once you download it it's going to be downloaded in zip files so you have to make sure that you unzip or you have to um, extract the files from the folders and then once it's extracted you have to look for the .otf or .ttf or .wff files so that you can install them or you can upload them onto your canva account so that's just how easy it is to upload custom fonts to your canva accounts again this is not for free account users you can only upload fonts if you are a canva pro user a canva for enterprise user 
Canva for Education user or a Canva for Nonprofits user. I hope you learned something new today. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please do let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to accommodate requests. So I'll see you on the next video. Bye now. Thank you.